Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday and we are getting ready to go eat lunch and I did not know, or I've been out of it, you guys know that, I'm sure you could tell in my last video, but um, I need to announce the Dean Davidson winner of the contest. One of you guys asked me and I just kind of blanked out. I couldn't remember if he was going to contact the winner, but he ended up emailing me and he e emailed me a list of the finalists and John just cut these up for me. So I am going to um, fold these up and put these in my Janessa Leone hat and pull one of these out. Um, but while I'm doing that, I wanted to, one, tell you, let me see if I can get close. Today I used the um, new Visart palette, that new, um, it seems so dark, but I guess it's because of my light. I used that new Pro palette and it is, when Brooke and I opened that, I mean, it's like you would think you will never need another shadow. It has got every crease color, every dark color, purple, every color you would need in this not so big palette. The only thing is when I was doing my, I thought well, I'm gonna do a darker look today. Here, let me zoom in a little bit more. And um, so I need to get to folding. And um, so I thought well, I'm gonna do a darker, something different today than I always do. And I did need a, I like a shimmer color, just one shimmer for the inner, corner and just to put on the center of the lid so I used my favorite um, Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay and I'm also really loving I took that Charlotte Tilbury palette that all-in-one smoky palette that I just showed you guys not too long ago I, that's what I took with me to California and I used it every day I mean I have used the heck out of that thing it's gotten messy looking I've used it so much but um so, I was going to fill you in on what's going on. We, um, John has just finished my closet with floors, and um, we got our bed set up. The bad thing is we ordered a uh, upholstered bed that was not, um, the headboard of it is tall enough if you're going to use it as a platform bed. But if you're going to use it, we have a sleep number bed, and if you're going to use it with a bed like that and you have to use um, box springs, then it the actual bed and everything cover up the headboard. So we um, just ordered another one today. And um, the one we ordered today is much taller. And it is one that it's more expensive, but um, still not that bad. We ordered it from Amazon, but it got great reviews and it's velvet, which I love. And um, it's meant for like Tempur-Pedic and sleep number beds and stuff like that that need box springs. So um, we won't get that until next week, but we're just going to use this one until then. So, um, and then um, I went to Home Goods last night and I got a few things, but John does not like Home Goods. It seems like a lot of the things we've gotten lately have not been very nice. And he, even though he's kind of... Um, He's probably a, a little, I don't know, he's not really frugal, but he really believes in spending your money, getting the best thing you can get for the least amount of money. That's his thing. And um, so before I left, he said, I don't want anything for me from Home Goods. So we are ordering the nightstands. We got our dresser and our chest of drawers, and they're just, they're amazing. My paint color is just so perfect. It's just I told him, I said, this makes me so happy, you know, down deep in my soul, you know, it's just like shoes make you happy and a purse makes you happy, but there's something about when you do stuff to your home that just makes you happy so much, you know, but it's still a disaster area because he took everything out of my closet and put it everywhere, but I've been going through my jewelry and um, I'm going to go through my clothes and everything, so this week I should be home a lot. And um, the painters are through, but they missed one little window in my bathroom. So he's coming back on Monday. And then the tile girl is coming on Tuesday. Lowe's was taken forever, so I've gone to another tile place. And um, she's coming Tuesday to measure, to do my backsplash. And um, so we're getting there, and it's so exciting. And 
it's just really neat. I love it. So, um, this is for all of the goodies that I showed you in the Dean Davidson collection. Let me mix these up. I never even, to be honest with you, I never even read the names. So, um, I'm going to pull a winner out of here for that whole collection. And let's see who it will be. Somebody's out mowing grass. Okay, Anne Doucette. A-N-N-D-O-U-C-E-T-T-E. -E -T -T -E. Anne Doucette. You are the winner of the Dean Davidson goodies. And um, I, either I or Dean will get in touch with you. I believe Dean will because he has all of your information where you joined with him. And thank you so much for everyone. I know um, Dean loves doing these giveaways and he does great sales like at Christmas and stuff too. So if you got on his email list, you should be getting emails. And um, thank you all. I was just looking at these napkins I have here. Thank you all for your input on that. And I do, I agree with all of you because I can see every side to that whole pill and cigarette thing. I know that it's meant to spark conversation and it's cheeky and this and that, but I do think there is so much of a problem with um, pills and stuff of all sorts that it's probably not something to take lightly. And that's why I'm glad I didn't get like, you know, a great big painting or something like that yeah. is um, I am going to, you guys would not believe the shoes. I am surrounded by a sea of shoes, not counting the 40 pair that I put in those boxes. And I do not want like a shoe wall again in my bedroom. I did not like that. I didn't like them getting so dusty. I didn't like that cluttery feeling. Um, you know, you can see the ones that are right in front of you, but I still couldn't see the ones up high. It still wasn't big enough for all of my shoes. So I think I'm going to get rid of this like little seating area here in my room and I'm going to make um, kind of like this side of my room, kind of like a closet wardrobe type thing and then keep this side with the sofa and the TV. And um, because Brooke and I really like watching movies and stuff up here together. And I like it when the kids come up here, when I'm up here working and editing and stuff and they come up and talk to me. And it's just, you know, I like having that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got so much going on and I love it. And so thank you for all of your comments with that. And um, congratulations to Anne. And we are getting ready to go out to eat. Like I told you, I've just put on one of my um, Zara dresses. And actually I think this was a Zara leopard coat. It's long and I got it a couple years ago, but I have seen some really great ones on different websites this year. So I will put some, I'll find them for you and put some links down below because I love this. This is one of my favorite coats. You can put this on with black leggings, boots, and a black t-shirt and you will look so chic. I mean, there's just something about it. All faux furs are like that to me. And um, so, and I've got on some hoops, Sheila Fajal hoops. Oh, another thing is that um, Charlotte Tilbury, contour little thing that um, Denise sent me as a, a contour. I don't know if you'd call it. It's got a sponge on the end. It is amazing. I took it with me to California. It is so easy to blend. For those of you that are just kind of cooped out by having a liquid or cream contour, that is the one for you to get. You can just put two dots, two dots. I put a dot, a dot, and then I usually put a little bit just to kind of tighten up my jawline. And um, it literally, you can blend it in like this. It is amazing. So thank you to Denise for sending that to me. And this week I will be here most of the week. I'm going to really do some serious, I've got to do some soul searching, cleaning out. And um, if you have any tips for me, um, it is just very hard for me. Like when I pick up a pair of shoes, even though I haven't worn them, but one or two times, it's like I think about why I wanted them. You know, it's like I'm a, sort of emotionally attached. So I'm not sure if I might do a good shoe sale. Um, I don't know. If any of you out there wear my size, which is a US size eight, and you may be interested in purchasing some of my designer shoes, I could be talked out of it because I just, 
I, I, it's out of control. And I, you know, so many people ask me for closet tours. I don't have a big closet. I just don't. And it, to give you a tour, I could more, I could take a snapshot of my closet. I mean, I just don't have a closet like that. Um, that's why I love watching Lydia Elise Millen. I love when she does like a closet clean out because mine is not much bigger than hers. And so I love watching how she has to, you know, get rid of stuff. And um, I might do Poshmark. That might be a good thing for me to do. I don't know. I've just got so many things going through my mind. And um, so I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. And um, I will see you this week. I would love some maybe video suggestions down below. I know I need to do some favorites and stuff like that. But I feel like I want to kind of start from scratch. And um, let's do some different fun things. So I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.